Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end new and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to show you the 2023 Winnebago Vista slash Sunstar. They are basically the same coach with just different names. And today we're going to feature the 29NP, which is the National Parks Edition. So you get some extra cool features when you get the National Parks Edition. Um, one of them being this gorgeous exterior. So you can see this is the Canyonlands exterior. There's also the Glacier exterior. So I really appreciate the fact that you're watching this video. Hopefully that you'll, you'll learn a lot. Um, but I want to make sure that once you're done watching that you give National Indoor RV Centers a call. We've got RV lifestyle specialists that are ready and waiting to help you get into the RV lifestyle. So make sure you give us a call. Also, if there's something specific in the video that you want to jump to or see or watch again, once you watch the full length version, um, you can go to the chapter, chapters at the bottom of your screen and it will take you right to that specific spot. One of the things that Winnebago does that I really love is they actually use the units that they sell. Um, so they've had product managers um, testing out these coaches, taking it on trips so that they know exactly what you're talking to them about when you say, hey, we want this or we want that. They've actually experienced um, this coach and used it themselves. So you may see a few little bug marks on the windshield. <laughs> As we go to the top, you're going to see our marker lights. We have this nice big window and it's mounted automotively and they can do that because they have the steel superstructure inside of the front cap. That allows them to do a few things. First of all, they can mount that window and I like it. I like that it doesn't have a big rubber gasket going around the whole edge of the window. Um, it also gives you more visibility because they have smaller A pillars. Uh, they also mount your windshield wipers to that steel superstructure. And that whole steel superstructure has been e-coded. If you don't know what e-coding is, then go and check out my Winnebago factory tour video where I'll walk you through that completely. The Vista slash Sunstar sits on the F53 Ford chassis. It has a 7.3 liter V8 gas engine with six speed transmission. These great headlights come standard in the NP package. Again, one of the reasons that you need to call National Indoor RV Centers, our RV lifestyle specialists can walk you through what comes standard on the National Parks model or what comes standard on the 29D model. So I do love the front grill of the National Parks Edition. You've got the Winnebago, and then you've got this nice grill here. Now that serves more than one purpose. That allows really a lot of airflow into your radiator, which is then gonna help your engine. So let's check out what's behind this. First thing we have here is our power steering fluid. Then we have the air intake for the engine. Now, just below that, you're gonna see the radiators. This is our cooling system. Um, so the first panel here is for the transmission. The second is for our AC. The very, the one in the far back is for the engine. And then if you look down below, there's almost like a small shoebox size one. That's for your power steering. So just above the power steering fluid, we have the fill for our oil, then the air intake for the engine. So I mentioned that we have this great grate in front that brings in ambient air to help cool the radiators. The baffles that Winnebago adds, this is, an, this is an additional feature here, that directs that airflow to the radiators, which make them more efficient. Here is the dipstick for our oil and the dipstick for the trans fluid. Then just below that, we have our coolant for the coach. Then you can see the chassis battery. And right in front, we have the windshield wiper fluid. You also notice this port here and here. This is where one of the technicians at National and RV Centers um, will service your AC unit. So they're gonna pull the refrigerator coolant out of this, or commonly known, what used to be known as Freon, out of this, they'll reclaim it, and then they put it back in through here and recharge the system or add to it as needed. Another feature you get with the National Parks Edition is the protective film across your um, front cap to protect that beautiful full body paint. Then as we go around the corner to the passenger side, we have our first marker light. 
optional side view camera. Now, when you add this option, when you put on your um, right blinker, you're gonna be able to see down the full length of the side of the coach. So it really helps you when you're driving, making sure that you're safe and that your lane is clear. Then we've got our exterior mirrors. The are, these are internally controlled, um, the top two thirds, and they do have two um, defrost on them. Then the bottom portion, you just need to manually adjust. Uh, another feature with the National Parks Edition is you get the blacked out um, fender wheel here, and then you have the nice blacked out wheel as well. Now, one of the things I wanna make sure you go and check out because I think it really not only gives you peace of mind, but protects you and your family. Um, go and watch my video on Retroband. It's your spare within your tire. It's sold exclusively at National Land RV Centers. We want you RVing and enjoying this lifestyle for a long, long time safely. So go check that out. You'll notice just above the passenger window that we have the National Park Foundation logo. Um, just remember that when you buy the NP, a portion of your funds goes to the National Park Foundation. So that's really cool. Then let's talk about the windows on this. So we have the frameless, don't they look awesome? Frameless tinted windows, so nice. And then this front door, I'm gonna open it up. It's nice and strong. I'm gonna talk about this whole wall here. So how Winnebago makes its wall is they put first a fiberglass, then your Asdell, then your foam insulation, and then your decorative back um, wall board. So each of those layers are glued so you have your fiberglass, Asdell, foam insulation, those are all glued and then pinch pressed. Then they use their CNC cutter, so it's exact um, for the windows, for the door. Um, they cut out the frame uh, for the aluminum framing and then the wiring, anything that your cabinets are backed into steel. So they add that steel panel um, and then they add the decorative board, glue that, and then pinch press it all again. So you have a very nice, well insulated, thick, sturdy wall. So a few things to talk about just inside the door. First of all, I love this sturdy door. Um, Winnebago makes it nice and strong. Like I said, it's cut with our CNC um, cutter, so it's exact, it's airtight, it's strong. Talk a little bit more about the handle here in a second, because I did you notice that the steps came out when I opened the door? So right inside the door, there is a switch that you can turn that off. Now, every time I go in and out of the coach, every time this screen door opens, that step's not gonna go back and forth. Um, it's an electric motor, you don't wanna burn it up, so I always just keep it in the off position. That way, it comes out and stays out. When I start the coach, it's gonna automatically retract those steps. Um, so now, let's go over the door. Like I said, nice strong door. And then we've got the deadbolt. We've got the, lo the lock that you can just easily hit when you go in and out of the coach. And then another thing you may have wondered is that these doors only open when you lift it up. So think about you're traveling, someone's messing around with the door and they accidentally kind of fall on the door and, and it they could possibly open that if it went down. That's why it only opens up, just a little safety feature. So this is a nice, really strong screen door. Actually, I could hang on it if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that for you. Um, Winnebago, they make this door. I'll point out things that they make, and that's one of the things that I show in that factory tour video. 75% um, of this coach is manufactured by Winnebago, whereas so many of your other manufacturers are parts assemblers. Um, they buy the part from the supplier, they put it in. Well, Winnebago makes their parts and in doing so, they can make them stronger. They're engineered exactly for that coach and that floor plan. Um, their holding tanks are engineered and mapped out for specific floor plans. Um, so you can make, you maximize the space. You'll get a little bit bigger um, fresh water tank because they've got a little extra space rather than just buying, you know, whatever size the supplier has available. So that's a key thing. Right inside the door on the multiplex lighting panel, you have the uh, buttons for the awning. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend the awning. And notice that it's legless. And look at the nice amount of shade that it's going to give us, and we need it today. Next up, now that we've got our awning out, it's time for a little TV, we can tailgate. We've got our speakers here for our exterior entertainment center. Now this is a two-stage door, 
So we can leave it low like this, especially depending on where the glare of the sun's coming from, or you can push it, push it up higher. So that's a nice feature um, that you can have. Also, this nice big TV, you can rotate out. So you're just gonna pull here to release, and then you can direct your TV to wherever your guests are sitting or away from the sun. And this is one of those things I like to point out. This is another um, part that Winnebago makes. So you'll pull out a lot of these TVs and, you, and they just feel a little flimsy. There is nothing flimsy about this. You can see they loom all the wires here nicely, so it looks great. Um, I really like that. You have easy access to the back of the TV here. And then you can see that you've got the HDMI cable that, from inside, and then you've got an extra port here. So if you wanted to plug something in out here, you can. Also on this side, you've got the switch here to go from your radio, so your um, dash radio, you can have that come out here, or your TV. You can also Bluetooth your phone so that you can play your music out here. So it's a beautiful sunny day, but it's getting a little hot. Um, I'm going to add some extra shade and on the National Parks Edition, you get the bat wing. So I'm going to create shade. I'm going to bring it from the back of the coach and I'm going to connect it right here. That will shade this whole area. So let me show you how that's done. So the bat wing is attached here to the back of the coach. So you just unzip it. So now I've got it all unzipped and the, the shade has just kind of fallen out. Now I'm just going to walk it around. It's literally this easy. Walk it around. Right, just have to get the right angle. And then you can just pull to tighten it. So look at the amount of shade I've created. And as the sun keeps moving, it's gonna get bigger and bigger. Now I can, um, I've got stakes so I can uh, stake this down. And we've got a leg in the center here that just pushes out and then you just bring that down and extend it. Now you can see with the awning fully extended and with the bat wing fully extended, how much shade this will create. Um, I love this feature and it comes standard with the National Parks Edition. Okay, let's check out the storage here. So we have a nice storage compartment. Again, this is one of the things that Winnebago makes in their rotorcast department. And you'll notice that this is a pass-through storage area. So it goes all the way through to the other side. Over here on the side here is a breaker switch for your battery. That's really nothing that you ever need to worry about, um, but just serve it. It's for service, so your technicians would know. Um, then this even passes through this direction too. So I'm going to open up this next compartment. And the compartments are lit. Right inside the front door, there's a button that you can turn the compartment lights on and off with. So if you turn them all on, which I'll do as I go around, you can turn them all off there and all on there. Another nice big compartment here. And inside this compartment, you can see that your inverter is in here. So you, want, you have a 1000 watt inverter, pure sun inverter, and your inverter charger battery disconnect is right here. So if we're not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National Indoor RV Centers, where we store at least 300 coaches indoors at each of our locations, then you would wanna make sure you turn that off when you're storing your coach, especially if you're not um, connected to your 50 amp shore power. Um, and then in this compartment, we have two 110 outlets. You can plug something in there and then they've got a little port here that you can open and then put that cord through so that you can shut your compartment door and keep it nice and sealed up from critters getting in here. Let's check out the storage. So we have another nice big compartment here. Now notice on the door, you see that label? You never take off those labels. Winnebago, if something were to happen to that door and doors get damaged all the time, take a picture of that, you can send it to them and they can reorder you that part. Um, you'll see that on the upholstery, on different things throughout the coach. I'll try to point them out. Now this storage is nice. Again, we've got our lights and this is another pass-through storage area. Now this is what I'm really excited about. So this is a standard feature in the 29B or the 29NP, the exterior kitchen. So a couple things to point out. First of all, this is really great. If you haven't put the bat wing out, you're gonna create some shade and some protection from the elements out here just with the um, door. 
But with the bat wing, you've got this really nice cooking area. I don't know how many times I'm making breakfast or dinner in the hot sun and it's not any fun when you're out camping. So this is a great way to enjoy the outdoors and have some shade and cook your, prepare your meals. So we've got the refrigerator, freezer, nice cabinet here. And then we've got the lights. So the controls are right there to the side. And then we've got the linear light up ahead, which really illuminates the area nicely. So you can see what you're doing. 12 volt receptacle and two 110 outlets. We've got the stainless steel sink and faucet, bottle opener and drain pump. So full extension drawers. You're gonna be able to put all your utensils out here. This is really nice. More storage here, so you can actually leave some food back here if you'd like. Behind this panel, you've got a little area here for service. You've got your fresh water drain back here, and then your the uh, drain pump is right there. Just wanted to note that the refrigerator here is run off the inverter, so you can be driving down the road and still keeping everything, all the contents out here cold. You have a nice little, you have some extra storage to the side. This is a great little area that you could plug in a portable induction cooktop. Um, but if you want to grill, then I've got the answer for you just around the corner here. So Winnebago has given us a quick connect here. So if you want to bring out your um, gas grill and fry up some hamburgers or some bacon for breakfast, you can do that here. Bring your portable table. There's plenty of room in those storage compartments. So just a great option. And again, just check out all of the shade. As I come around the corner, we've got our last marker light for the passenger side of the coach. And then here we are at the rear cap of the coach. Now, just above the bat wing here, you can see our marker light to the very top of the coach. Right there in the center, you've got your rear view camera and then the high brake lights. Then we've got our lights here. I love again, we've got the Vista name that said really nice and big with the Canyonlands edition. Uh, we have our furnace exhaust and our generator exhaust is here. Those are nice. They're both coming out the back of the coach. So again, you can be uh, living in this nice space outside the, the shade that you've created and you're not having that exhaust come right out the side of your coach. Again, here is the quick connect for your gas. You've got a hitch here. It's rated for 5,000 pounds with a tongue weight of 500. And then you've got your seven way for your towing vehicles. Now, if you're wondering what you can tow or wondering about tow packages, uh, go check out my towing package video. As I come around the driver's side, we've got our first marker light for the driver's side. And then behind here, we've got our generator. Now we have upgraded this coach with the upgraded cooling package. So that means we went from one 15,000 watt BTU AC unit to two 13.5. We also went from a 4,000 watt generator to a 5,500 watt generator. And we went from a 30 amp shore power cord to a 50 amp shore power cord. So probably an option you're going to want, especially if you live in those hotter states or if you're planning on traveling to them. So our 5,500 watt generator here. Next compartment, we've got our 50 amp shore power cord. And you'll notice in this compartment too that we have the automatic transfer switch. Now what the transfer switch does is that it transfers power from your shore power to your generator. So they go back and forth if um, it's always going to give preference to the generator. So example, you are sleeping in your coach, there's a huge rainstorm and the breaker gets tripped out at the pole and you need to go reset it, but you don't want to because it's raining. So you just go ahead and turn on your generator. Your generator is now gonna run until you turn it off. So even if you go out and flip the breaker, your generator is still gonna pull, pull power from the generator um, until you turn it off, like I said. Now, if something were to happen to your transfer switch, it's going to get locked in one of those positions. It's going to get locked in either generator mode or shore power mode. So say um, we get calls all the time. I've, I'm plugged into 50 amp power, but I'm not getting anything, but my generator works. Well, your transfer switch is probably 
um, not working. It's locked to that generator position and that's what it's favoring. So how do you protect your transfer switch? You get a surge guard protector. Um, you can do one of two things. You can buy the one that you attach to it at the pole, um, but you are in danger of someone stealing that. Unfortunately, that happens. Um, and you can also have one hardwired into this compartment. Um, that's what I like to do. Then I don't have to think about it. And we can do that for you at National Indoor RV Centers. Notice there's a light again in this compartment, and then you have the input connections for your satellite and cable. Here's the fuel fill for your 80 gallon uh, gas tank. Another nice big compartment here, and that's the pass-through to the other side. Again, we've got the lights on so you can see everything in here. Here is the exhaust for your engine, and then just inside this compartment is our wet bay. So again, if you are new to RVing, you're not sure how to set this all up, I have a whole RVing 101 series that you can go and watch. It's a four-part series um, from preparation for a trip all the way through the trip setting up camp, breaking down camp, even visit with some of our customers at National Indoor RV Centers and they tell us how, you know, what kind of things they think are important to take with them on trips and how they store their items. Now in the wet bay here, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the light. I love that we've got the light. Here we have the water filter for the coach. We've got our gray waste tank T-bar here. As you go over here, we've got the connection for our fresh water. So we're gonna connect our hose here. Directly above that, we've got a little port here. So the 29 NP comes standard with three 115 watt solar panels. So there's 345 on your roof already. Um, you can add total up to 450 with the controller. So if you want to add a portable one here and then walk it out to the sun sunshine, this is where you would add that. And then you can stream that through this area here so you can still shut your compartment. And then we've got our shower head and our hot and our cold. Now right here is our fresh water valve. So you are gonna have that up when you're normally using the tank. Um, so whether you're dry camping or you're in a campground, you're gonna have that up once your tank is full. To fill the tank, you're gonna turn it this direction. Here is your black waste tank flush inlet. So you hook a hose up to here so you can help push everything through and clean out your black tank and your black tank waste drain. This is where your um, black and your your gray and your black tank come together. So then you your sewer dump here, stinky slinky will connect here and then thread through here. At the very back is our water pump. And then you'll also, also see this clear tube. This is where you would winterize your coach. One of those things you don't have to worry about if you're a storage customer with National Indoor RV Centers. And then you have your fresh water drain. Here's your six gallon uh, water heater. And then just below that, we've got our last big storage compartment for the driver's side of the coach. Nice big compartment. And again, that's a pass-through. Resettable fuses here. And then just beyond that, you can see the slide out room controller behind that black box. Our last compartment here is our LP tank. So this is an 18 gallon LP tank. So this is where you can fill it. And then right next to it is a reservoir for your hydraulic jacks. So we have our exterior mirrors, our camera, an optional side view camera, last marker light for the driver's side of the coach. And then another feature that you get standard with the National Parks Edition is the Sumo Springs. Now you can't see them, they're on the front and the rear, but you're definitely gonna fill it when we take this for a test drive. There were so many cool features on the outside of this coach. Now I can't wait to show you the inside. Let's go check it out. Right when I walk in the coach, I love that we've got this nice, strong grab bar. Easily going to be and easily and safely going to get in and out of the coach. Then right down as we enter the coach, we've got the button for our baggage compartment. So when we turn that off, all the baggage compartment lights are off now if I had them on. And then we've got the battery disconnect right here, the step on and off button. And then we've got the courtesy light. Now that courtesy light comes on when we turn on the porch light. So that's a safety feature to help you get in and out safely. And then this compartment I really like. So we've got a compartment right off the front door. You could put boots and shoes and dog leashes and food, bunch of stuff. It's quite big. So nice area there right when you walk in. And right below this step, we have our one 
lithionic battery and that's going to give us 320 amp hours of power right inside the door we have our multiplex lighting system so this is where we extended the awning and retracted the awning the awning light porch lights my favorite button of all all lights on all lights off this is great i don't have to run to the back of the coach to make sure i turned off the reading light i can just hit the all lights on or off button i'm good to go and this is going to be for the lounge area so over here over the dinette over the kitchen area and then the hallway kind of into the bedroom area those lights right there so you just want to illuminate that one space rather than all the lights you can do it there so one of the features that i like on the screen door that i forgot to sh show you is this blackout so you just it just hooks right over that lever there super easy now your door is blacked out now just above that we've got our cool our flying w so for those of you who don't know the flying w came about by john k hansen he was the founder of winnebago his six-year-old son wrote out the word Winnebago and did the W like that. That's how the flying W came about. And that's how you'll see it throughout the coach. You even saw it on the wheels outside in here. You'll see it on the bed, on towel hooks. I just love it. And then they gave us little hooks here. This is another voice of the customer item where they asked for, you know, constantly when Winnebago was going into our customers' coaches, they were seeing that they were adding hooks. So they've given us a nice, cool Winnebago um, rack for hooks. Just above our hooks, we've got the satellite receiver system. It's pre-wired for a satellite system. Then you've got your over-the-air antenna. You've got two 110 outlets that are available and one more in the back, so three total. Then you've got your satellite connections, your HDMI cord, and then the button here. This is going to turn your Wi-Fi um, router on and off. And then the button above that is for your Uconnect system. And then we have the Wi-Fi router. Look at the beautiful interior of the 29NP. So this has the Salinas oak wood with the dark upholstery. This is the town and country interior. I think it's gorgeous. It feels very um, rustic, like my Park City Lodge. <laughs> um, I just think they've done a nice job with this product. I'm excited about it. I turned around the captain and the co-captain's chairs so that you can see that we've got the added space once we turn those around, extra seating space. Though so those are super comfortable. This hole right here is for a table. So you can just put it right in there. Super easy to put up. And then just sort it on top of the hole there. And then you've got a nice tabletop that you can swing between the captain and the co-captain's chair. Then we've got the theater seating here that we've optioned in. So love this. And then we've got even a little extra cushion. You've got the um, US, two USB charging ports here along with the footrest. So you can just get really comfortable. Then you can go ahead and pull down the backrest here. You've got your two cup holders. So this really makes it the theater seating um, that we think of. Then to pull back, we just push back and put that back in, or you can lift that up so you can have you know a place for someone to stretch out and kind of lounge. Over on the other side here, we have the same two USB charging ports and the control for the foot release, two 110 outlets, and then we've got the two 110 outlets behind us. Now, notice the nice windows. I love that we've got windows so we can have a great cross breeze. We also have the MCD night uh, blackout shades. And then let's just go straight into storage here. So great storage, cabinets are gonna stay open. Um, now remember I told you that any cabinet is backed into steel. So these are super strong. Then we've got this compartment here that's hiding the, uh, the blind mechanism there. Our Winnebago Bible with all of our instructions. <laughs> and then you're probably wondering what's behind me. So what I love about this um, floor plan with 30, you know, less than 30 foot coach, um, you've got one, two, three sleeping areas. So this is our overhead bunk. It will hold up to 600 pounds. Now Winnebago tested it up to 1200 pounds. Yep, 1200 pounds and they could kind of see a little bit of a smile. Now they've only rated it to 600 pounds, but you are very safe at that number. 
whether you bring this bed halfway down or all the way down, you still have that same weight rating. So you may want to use this bed as storage. If so, you can just put it to the level that you need for your storage items and you're still covered. So to take the bed down, you just go to your screen here and you're going to pick the slide controls and your bed lift is on there. So you can hit bed lift, accept. Now to make sure to make this work, you need to make sure that the safety belt mechanism has been unhooked, um, which I did earlier, and then you just lower it. So this is what I was talking about when I said you could lower it. Say that's all the space you needed for storage. You could have storage up there and you still have access um, to your cockpit using those seats. Um, or you can lower it all the way. So it really comes down far. And now I've brought the bed all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and get my ladder. Your ladder is rated for 250 pounds. And you can see it's just super easy. Now you can get up. What I really like about this is that you have quite a bit of headroom. So you're not gonna feel like you're sleeping right next to the ceiling. We've got storage here. Um, so nice storage here. And then we've got our push button lights. We've got speakers there and then a nice little cushion there in case we, we um, lean up against that wall. And then more storage on this side with the cargo net so that everything stays in place. Another thing that Winnebago does is they give you this cargo net here so that when you're sleeping, your blankets or your toys or whatever don't fall down into the dash area. Winnebago made this bed bigger too. So it's 50 by 80. So it really will sleep to um, adults. And then if you want to charge your phones or your devices while you're up here, you can just thread it through. There's uh, two 110 outlets available there next to where the um, passenger would sit. And then you can just pull them up through here, set them in the little cubby here and charge away. I also wanted to show you the slats here for the bed. These are kind of your springs for your mattress so it gives you a very comfortable mattress to sleep on so now in the morning instead of having to make the bed and make it look perfect i mean you can do that but if you want to just kind of smooth it out and then lift it up i've got the ladder up there and it all just goes away and you really kind of forget that it's even there winnebago wants you to be safe while you're traveling so we have our smoke alarm then midship, we've got our RV propane alarm. In the master bedroom, we have the carbon monoxide alarm. And then right here at the door, we have our fire, fire extinguisher. That's really nice, you know, right where to get to it. If you're inside the coach, you can also use it if you're outside the coach. Another thing you need to go check out is my video on Protang. It's our fire suppression system. Um, it's sold exclusively at National Indoor RV Centers. And if you know us at all, we only sell products that we truly believe in. No snake oil here. So go check that out. We can do a custom quote for your coach. You can do the entire coach or you can just do certain areas. If you just wanna do the um, battery compartment or the generator compartment or the engine compartment, we can customize it to whatever you'd like. So call us today for a custom quote. As we move into the dinette area, we've got our 40, 40 inch TV that's directly across from the theater seating, very easy to view from the captain's seat. And then in this compartment here, not only do we have storage, we also have an additional 110 outlet and we have our HDMI input. So you don't have to reach behind the TV to get into that HDMI input. So that's really nice. Then I love the big window that they've given us here. A nice big window, MCD blackout shade, We've got our lights and it's on a toggle switch here. Our dream dinette. So we've got the booth dinette. Now they do make a very nice and comfortable booth dinette. You can definitely, I mean, you easily get four adults to this dinette. Right behind the dinette, we've got a 12 volt receptacle and two 110 outlets. So you can charge your devices. So the booth is very comfortable. The cushions are nice and comfortable. They're strong enough that they're sturdy, but they're still soft and they don't sag at all. That's one of the things that customers complain to me all about is that they feel like they're sliding forward in their booth. You definitely are not gonna feel that with this. Now this also converts into a, um, a sleeper area. 
and it's a high low table so let me show you what that means we've got our two cup holders here and then if i stand here and i just push on both sides pull up and out look at that so i've got a higher table here that i can work from and then i've got this storage below so this is great for um, board games cards placemats table setting you know like um, napkins, all that good, napkin, napkin rings, whatever you want. But I just love that you've got that little bit of extra storage. And the cool thing about this dinette is that they've given you an access port here. So if you want to charge a phone down here or a tablet, you can plug in at the wall and then put the wire through here and charge it while it's in the little compartment area. So I've removed the cushion so I can make the bed easier. Plus I wanted you to be able to see the storage that's available. So on the rear facing booth, we have one seat belt. Forward facing booth, I have two seat belts with the child tether. So there's really not much storage here. You do have your breaker box behind this panel. And then on the front of the panel, you've got your 12 volt resettable fuses. And then on this side, we do have a nice storage compartment here. This is also that compartment that you um, reach into when you first walk in that has the little door. See, I can slide it for you probably. There you go. So you have access to this from two different ways. So now I'm just gonna move this lever, open it up, and then I'm going to gently push down on the dinette, and that becomes our bed base. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the cushions back in. While I do that, check that out. There's another one of those labels. So if Rover gets a hold of the uh, cushion and gnaws at it a little bit, you can send that in to Winnebago so that they can order you a replacement. Same with the back cushion, there's the label. So now we've got our nice bed. I can even pull over my little armrests from the theater seating and give myself a little, little pillow, little. <laughs> And one of the additional features that you get with that National Parks Edition is this dry erase um, magnet board. So you can put your grocery list on here. You can leave a list for your sweetheart to let them know that you'll be back at, you know, after lunch, or you could put magnets on there. So it's just kind of something fun that Winnebago has added. Now let's head into the kitchen area. So look at this. We've got Corian countertops, residential faucet, Nice big stainless steel sinks. I love the two sink covers. And then I do love that this has a sprayer because with these um, square sinks, I love the look at them, but they are more, a little trickier to clean if you don't have that sprayer. So that's a really nice feature that they've given you. Now we've got our two 110 here. So I can easily put a coffee pot there and um, I've got my lights above, my blackout shade. I love that I have a window and I can open that real easy. I can just turn that and open it. So for a little cross breeze, if I'd like another two 110 outlets and another light. And then we get to our gas cooktop. And I do love this because it just folds back and then lifts up out of the way. And it does provide a little protection for that beautiful backsplash that we don't want to mess up. So we've got our gas stove. Right above that, we've got our convection microwave oven. And then all the storage above. That's where your convection microwave oven plugs in. And then another cabinet here. So a lot of space. And then check out the drawer space. And underneath the sink, I do love this one because this is tall enough that I can put a waste basket here and tuck that away. Then we're, that's letting us know that we've got the water heater bypass and the normal valve right behind there for service. Full extension drawer, another nice big deep drawer, and one more. And we're not done. Look at that big drawer. Great for pots and pans. And then we've got an oven too. So you can make your cookies here if you want. We've got the Norcold refrigerator freezer. So that's really nice. Lots of space there. We've got the vegetable containers. Lots of space in the door. 
we're not done. Pantry here with the flying W basket so things don't rattle around inside there. Nice big pantry. And right across from the kitchen, we've got our control panel for the coach. All right, so this first home page is gonna give us our fresh tank. So our fresh tank is full. Black tank is empty. Gray tank is empty. Our fuel is 88% full and our LP is 90%, 94% full. So very um, accurate readings there. Then we can turn the water pump on from here and the water heater on from here. It's also gonna give us our battery levels for our house and our chassis batteries and our generator hour, um, hours. Then if we're connected to our Wi-Fi Ranger, we can get the current weather, master light on, master light off, and this is, it's in auto gen start lockout mode right now. So now we're going to get our house batteries again, our chassis batteries, and it's gonna let us know our usage. Um, what we're using right now, we're only using lights we can start and stop our generator here and our inverter is on and we are disconnected to short power and then it's letting us know what we're bringing in solar power wise this is our heating and ac so it's 81 degrees up front 78 in the back we can adjust that temperature really easily and then do our fans our auto HVAC cool and heat return. That's what you can hit. So if you want it to go back to that temperature that you've set it at when you return your away temperature and then you can put a hold on it. Then we go to our lights. So we have our master on and master off and our exterior lights. Then we can just go to certain areas in the coach and control the lights in that area. And anytime you see that arrow, you can dim those lights. Next is our slide room controls, awning controls, our jacks, and our bed lift. So awnings, we've already demonstrated that. Our slide outs, you do have to have your park brake set and ignition on. With the jacks, I recommend having that ignition on too. Bed lift, you don't need anything on. This just takes you to a page where you can download an app that you can put on your phone so that you can control most of these functions that are on the app from your phone. Settings, these are all your different setting pages. There's four pages and you can scroll through. I'll just get to the most important page here, which is your auto gen start options. So this is where you can set um, your auto gen start. Uh, you can set, um, what you want to trigger, when you want it to trigger your auto gen start to come on, your run time, um, your start time for quiet time, and then your end time. So you can set all those features here. And then, like I said, there are several pages of different screens and they all just kind of either will give you readouts or you can customize different information on those screens. All right, just below the control panel, we have our thermistor for the kitchen family room area of the coach that's can communicate with the thermostat to keep it nice and cool in here. And uh, speaking of cool, remember with the NP package, you get the two 13.5 BTU um, AC units. Then we've got our little flying W logo again. Right below that, we've got the multiplex lighting system for the hall, the lounge, the galley, the sofa, and the galley overhead lights. Right below that, we've got our um, propane alarm, and then we're gonna step back here into our bathroom. Okay, heading into the bathroom here, we've got our toilet with the pedal control. Also, we've got this sprayer if we need to add more water to the toilet or if we just wanna spray it out. Right above there, we've got the towel holder, which I love to have those. And then you've got a hook here that you can hang a towel from. Great medicine cabinet. Well, not really a medicine cabinet, just a nice cabinet. And then just above that, we've got our fan for the bathroom. Now we've got our W hook, and then we have a nice mirror and medicine cabinet behind the mirror. And then we have another big mirror here. So that's really nice. Lots of area that you can um, do your hair and everything with. And then with storage below the sink and a little place for a wastebasket, toilet paper holder, 
and you could also put some other things back in here as well. Light switch is on a toggle for the bathroom. And then we have another spot where we can hang a hand towel. Then we've got the shower. You can see that we've got a shower lock. That's one of those things that's on my um, pre-trip checklist. So if you want a copy of my list, just email me at Angie at nirvc.com. So that's A-N-G-I-E at nirvc.com. I'll be happy to share, you, share that with you. I talk about it a little bit in my RV 101 series. Stepping into the shower. It's nice and roomy in here. We've got the nice shower head here with the controls. Little spot for your shampoo and conditioner. Even uh, you can a little ledge here so you can put your foot up there to shave your legs. So nice and roomy. Plus we have the skylight so that gives you a little extra um, height here in the shower. Did I mention that I like a place to hang a towel? <laughs> so you, this coach can easily sleep six people and there's just about that many towel hooks. So awesome feature. Welcome to the beautiful master bedroom of the 29 NP. So we've got a king bed this year. That's new. King bed is standard. And then I just want to show you that we've got the little privacy latch here so that we can shut the doors for complete privacy from the rest of the coach. And then once you're done using them, just push those back into place and lock them in. Now we do have the storage underneath our bed. So that's a lot of storage. And then we have our fresh um, tank drain there. So again, you'll need to know where those are if you're going to winterize your coach. And then it just goes nicely down. Then we've got our great, nice headboard there. And look at the storage that we have around the bed. First of all, this is one, probably one of the coolest um, parts is that each side of the bed has this little nook. So if you have a CPAP machine, you could put that in there. You also have two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports on both sides of the bed. Then you've got cabinet here, drawer, and just an open space below. On the right side of the bed, you don't have the um, area below the drawer that's open, but you do have a longer, um, deeper drawer. We've got a toggle switch for our lights. And then look at all the cute bedding. Um, again, all made by Winnebago in their st Stitchcraft facility. Even got our W here on our little decorative throw. Nice, comfy mattress. Again, mattress made by Winnebago and then great storage over the headrest. I love having big windows in the bedroom, especially if you're backed into campground where you've got a lake behind you, the ocean behind you, you can see it from the bedroom. Love that. Then we have the blackout shade, just super easy. This is also our emergency egress window. Then we've got lots of storage here. So storage, wardrobe bar. Now this is where you can store the extra table that goes between the captain and co-captain's chair. And then check out how many drawers we have. Oh my goodness. I think I can get everything in my closet in this RV. <laughs> so much space, nice big drawers. Then we have a nice area with another big window, which is great for a cross breeze. We can black that out super easy so you can make your bedroom a cave if you want to. Got our push button light. And then we have our two 110 outlets, 32 inch TV here in the bedroom and more storage and it's lit, which is always nice. And then two more big deep drawers. And here is the toggle switch for the light for the bedroom and the thermistor for the bedroom. And you also have a nice full length mirror next to the left wardrobe. I always like to show the floor plan with the slides in. So you can see that you can easily get into your bathroom, into your refrigerator, and your freezer, microwave, oven, totally be here in the kitchen area, and at the dinette, in the theater seating, lots of space in this floor plan with the slides in. So we're finally here in the cockpit of the Vista. I'm in the captain seat. It's super comfy. Again, this is another seat that Winnebago makes. Got our nice armrest controls here. And then 
Uh, we have the control here for our backrest. So super easy. This lever here is gonna allow me to turn the chair around into my living room. And then I've got the forward manual up and back um, lever in front of the chair. Now just to the side of the chair, I've got the manual MCD nightshade. So that's really actually nice when you're driving because um, if the sun's really coming in hard at you, you can pull it down, you know, halfway and block that glare. And then we've got the front nightshade, which is in a track. So it just comes out down super nice as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring that down for you to see. Now I'm in ignition mode or accessory mode, so it's only going to come down that far. That's just a protective um, safety feature. Then we have the internal controls for our exterior mirrors, the defrost for the external mirrors, and then our nightshade up and down. Cup holder. Just in front of the cup holder, we have the battery boost button. Probably one of your most important buttons. If you come back to your coach and it won't start, you want to pull your chassis and house batteries together to give you enough power to start your ignition or start your generator. Let your generator run a little while while it charges your batteries and then uh, try to start your ignition. So you just hold that down and try to start your ignition or your battery or your generator. This is your dim and brightness for your front dash screen. Then you've got your light controls here. So off your running lights, so really your marker lights, headlights, and your auto lights. This is for your fog lights on and off. And this is your traction control, which I always just keep on. Right below that, we've got our brake release. So release, and then that's how you put on your park brake. Then we can adjust the steering column right here. So we're just going to release that and we can pull it forward or back however that's comfortable for you. I like it down in my lap a little bit more. These buttons here control the information on your screen so you can scroll through it. So you can go into driver assist, you just hit okay. And you can go to your voltmeter, it lets you know. Go back, maintenance monitor, oil life. Go back, go back. Program range, engine hours. Then you can go into your settings. This is really just where you can customize your lighting, display settings. You can customize those. Trip one information, scroll through that information, go back and then trip two, same thing. fuel economy, and back to driver assist. So very easy to do right from your steering column so you don't have to leave, your hands don't have to leave the uh, steering wheel. Then we've got our cruise control. So we turn on and off here, set it. And then once it's set, you can go up or down on your speed, resume and cancel. Our lever back here is going to can be our turn signal, obviously. And then we're going to have our windshield wiper controls. And then we press in for the windshield wiper fluid. And then your brights, if you push them away from you, it will keep your brights on and pull it forward. You can flash your headlights. Center of the steering column is your horn. And then over here we have our transmission control. So obviously drive neutral, park and reverse. And then we can go into tow haul mode if we need to. Center, we have our hazards. Then we've got the microphone for our Bluetooth um, voice commands. If we Bluetooth our phone to the coach, our jacks down alert and our ignition. So here's our USB port and 12 volt receptacle. Now this USB is special because when we plug in here, an Apple CarPlay will come up. We can hit that. Now you can go to your Google Maps or to your music or to your phone, back to your map. So that's really cool. I love that option. Um, then we can go to our home button. We've got the tuner, XM radio capability, Bluetooth, our phone, our rear camera. 
and then our settings. And this is where you can customize your screen to your likings. So home button, volume control, seek and find, and then we can go to our options. Again, Apple CarPlay, tuner, uh, source off, and then we have our audio controls here. So I love that your reading lights are easy to get to for the captain, co-captain. And also want to note that this whole dash is made by Winnebago as well in their Rotocast facility. We have our AC control, so our fan speed, cool and hot, and then the direction of where that air is flowing, uh, recycling the air and our defrost. Here we have our auto leveling jacks. This is a button where you can run your radio off of just your house batteries. So if you flip it now, you can have your ignition off and still have your radio playing um, and it's just using your house batteries. Below that, we've got our two USB charging ports and our 12 volt receptacle storage area here, two cup holders. Here in the co-captain's chairs, I have the same controls that I have on the driver's seat. This is probably the coolest feature right here. I have my own little desktop, which I love. So I can be working while we're driving down the road, little storage space in here, and then you just push it up and push it right away. So cool. My reading light is right here. Got my cup holder and just to the side of me, I've got my two 110 outlets. Winnebago adds fun little details to their coaches. I love the little Easter egg in the front windshield. Um, can you find Bigfoot? Okay, so we've been camping for a while. It's time to leave. I'm going to put my coach into accessory mode and you'll see here shortly that I'm gonna get an audible alarm here at the dash because my jacks are down. So that red light and then the blink, the um, chime to let me know. So let me show you what you do. This is how easy it is to bring your jacks up. So we're gonna go down to our electronic leveling panel. I'm gonna turn it on. It's letting me know that the jacks are down and I'm just going to hit retract. It will let me know that the jacks are up and it's good to go. I can go ahead and turn off my panel and the alarm has gone off. Um, it's no longer going off here at the dash. If I was just getting to the campground and I wanted to level my coach, I would go ahead and turn it on. Your ignition has to be on and you hit auto level. Auto level, you just wait until you have red lights at all four corners and you're leveled. You can also manually level if you're at a really uneven camp space where maybe you just need to bring up the front, you can do that here and it will let you know which um, jacks you're bringing up. All right, so it's time to take the Vista out for a test drive. Can't wait to test out the Sumo Shocks. Um, if you have never driven a Class A gas before, don't be nervous. I know it's 12 feet tall and it fills up the full lane, but really they are easy peasy to drive. Just remember, um, always hug the left side of the lane that you're in. Um, everything bad happens on the right. Street signs, road debris. Don't stay in the left lane because people get mad at you, but just hug the left side of that lane. Now, when I turn on my blinker to make a turn, since I've got those optional side view cameras, I can see down the full length of the right side of the coach. I can watch my tires, see that I'm gonna be fine. And one of the things I always tell um, my customers too is, you know, you're RVing. You're not in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the getting there. The getting there is as fun as being there. Um, I really truly think that with this huge windshield, um, you can really see this beautiful country. So accidents happen, boo-boos happen when we're in a hurry. If that happens to happen to you, National Indoor RV Centers has the best paint and body um, in the country. We actually have paint booths made for RVs um, at all of our locations. So just give us a call. We'll help you with your insurance company, make it super easy. If my customers say one thing to me, what I hear the most, let's just put it that way, is that they wish they had done it sooner. So you can finance these coaches for 20 years um, and start enjoying you know, life and living and making the country your backyard and have a great time um, in this RV. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I always do the decibel reader, so 67.5. That's pretty great, right? So when you're always
always going to have a little bit more no noise up front when you're driving a gas class A. That's what they call the diesel pushers because pushers their engines are in the back. So there is a little bit of noise. You will have more noise as you go up an incline, but I'm telling you, it's not bad. And it gets you to your destination and you're going to have a wonderful time and you can still talk to your co-pilot, no problem. So at National and RV Centers, our whole goal is to get you in the right coach and the coach of your dreams. So come out, you can test drive the coaches. We can do a custom order for you. If you want the 29 NP, we can custom order just this coach for you or you can see what we have in stock. We're happy with either, either way. So really, we're all about having customers for life have our own AIM club, which is our all-inclusive motorhome club. So we want to get to know our customers. We want to come and hang out with you. We throw amazing rallies, sort of like a cruise in your coach. You just show up in your coach. We take care of the rest. Food, fun, entertainment, um, education, just a good time. And you meet other RVers that are just like you, out living the lifestyle. And that's what's so great. I always tell new customers, that they ought to come to an AIM rally as soon as they can because one thing about RVers, they're so nice. All you have to do is be in the campground, kind of look like you have a question or you need a little help and you'll have like five people just, you know, come right to you and try to help. And so that's a cool thing about the RV lifestyle. Everyone's very helpful and they want to help make your experience great. And that's our goal at National Indoor RV Centers as well. Thank you so much as we reviewed the 2023 Winnebago Vista and Sunstar 29NP. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how much this awesome coach would cost you. Well, current MSRP is $231,522. If you want to know what I can sell it to you for, give me a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We've got RV lifestyle specialists ready and waiting to help you. We really want to make the buying process super easy. We take in trades, we do consignments, we offer financing. Did you know that you can finance an RV for 20 years? Give us a call today and we will help get you into the RV of your dreams. And remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more just like it, please hit the like and subscribe. Also go check out my Winnebago factory tour video and my RVing 101 towing series and my RVing 101 series. Thanks so much for your time. Glad that you spent it with me. And remember, give us a call and have a great day.